Hey everybody, I want to talk a little bit about putting form. Uh, the first thing I want to go over is uh, using your legs and getting the most energy out of the ground and keeping your weight balanced. So when you're putting, it's super important to get into a deep knee bend. You don't have to start there, but at some point in your putt, you're going to have to get there. Now, when you're bending your knees, you're not leaning over, you're not leaning back, you're centered. Your weight is centered over the middle of your body mass and you're acting as if you're sitting into a chair. When you do that, it's going to give you the most mechanical efficiency to transfer energy from the ground into the disc. Um, if you don't get that deep knee bend, you're going to find yourself missing left and right all the time. The next thing I want to talk about with putting is what I like to call a two-piece putt. And so you want to break up your, your putting mechanics into two sections. You want the, ad the address section where you're studying the putt and you're, you're finding that relaxation. And then you want the second part of your putt where you're actually doing the putt, where you're actually making the magic happen. Um, it, in my opinion, if you try to address the putt and go right into everything all in one motion and putt, you're going to have a lot of variability and you're going to struggle with your accuracy. Uh, it's very difficult to aim and execute a putt at the same time and so the two-piece uh, putting system will allow you to kind of uh, take away your conscious mind while you're actually aiming and so I have what's called the psychological trigger and so within that second piece of my putt when I bring the disc down I'm touching myself on the hip and once I touch myself on the hip I've, I've trained my brain to say okay it's go time and then at that moment, that's when all the real magic happens. So we got piece one, and then two pieces. And then you'll notice that there's a distinct pause at the bottom of my knee crouch. And I think that gathering moment is extremely important to not only harness the energy that you're going to transfer from the ground into the disc, but to enhance your accuracy. You need that small gathering moment in order to effectively aim the disc. Uh, but hopefully, if you're getting that psychological trigger, your subconscious mind is really taking care of most of that. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you're seeing, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.